it, it really comes down to I, I hate to downplay any game, but I every game after you play it is either a win or a loss. You know what I mean? It has the same value. I think I think when you have a, a team um, like Notre Dame, though, that is so good at what they do, and we work so hard to be good at what we do, it's you know it's it's fun. It's exciting to prepare for and get ready for and try to compete against somebody that does what they do at such a high level. And so this is a, an opportunity for us to, to see if we can do it against uh, right, what I think right now is going to probably be the most, uh, from top to bottom, the most uh, physical um, defense that we'll see this year. And, you know, overall, statistically, the best defense we'll see this year. So it's, it's uh, you know, that part of it is exciting. I think um, really we, we've got to focus on, North Carolina this week and, and do what we do. And then we've got to be willing to bring it physically on, on, on Friday night. Yeah, they're a really good team. Um, I've seen them play against Clemson, you know, on TV. And um, the atmosphere is crazy. As far as film goes, I think they're a really good team. They don't have any weak links. And so it's just a matter of uh, doing our job. So. I mean, I, I think we, we started working on Notre Dame. Obviously, there were some issues from the last game we had to address uh, that I'm sure Notre Dame's going to put in their game plan. So um, we, we kind of worked on some of the problems we had uh, from Wake Forest and then really got, you know, Notre Dame presents a lot of issues. So I'm glad we had a bye week to kind of go through it all and, uh, and, and try to handle as much as we could. And then watching Notre Dame on film, who has uh, stood out to you? Whew. How much time we got? Uh, we talked about the quarterback. I mean, I think he's a tremendous player. Um, I think the tight ends are awesome. You know, I think, you know they, they, they play two, they play three of them. Uh, they're in two tight ends a lot. I think really good. And I think the O-line has got, I mean, I don't know how it's like, you know, I'm sure like Greg Barnes probably knows how the stat, like, I don't, there's like a ridiculous amount of starts that the O-line has. Um, you know, I think they're a really good unit. So, yeah, I mean, I wish I could say like, man, we can attack this guy. But I think, you know, we, we, we kind of feel like, you know, it's all hands on deck to defend them. First of all, Notre Dame does a really good job of running the ball and passing the ball. They're really balanced offensively. So for me, it's just getting in with the D line and getting in with the secondary as many times during the week as I can and talking over our checks. Um, they, Notre Dame likes to attack your weaknesses and we've seen that over tape throughout the year. So getting in with the guys for, with the front seven and the back end um, is really important this week. 